Another school year in the COVID-19 pandemic is now coming to a close. Students and teachers at the Rapid City School District are now reflecting on all the challenges and hardships they face. And as Sydney Thorson explains in tonight's Eye on Kettle Land, there were also a lot of lessons learned along the way. For seniors like Connor Knudsen, the last few weeks of school feel a little different. Oh, we have about, I think they said like six days in each class left, which is pretty crazy when you've been going to school for, you know, about the last 12 years of your life. So The start of the COVID-19 pandemic in March of 2020 brought many changes for students like mask requirements, school closures, and limited capacity. I wish there could have been more people at the games, and prom was awesome that we got to actually have that on like last year. Yeah, if people, more people could have been out, it would have been a lot more, but we did get to of adapt and overcome and really just had to be creative and teach ourselves how to go around the norm, I suppose. Another challenge students face is mental health. Knudsen says he's grateful the community has become more aware of this issue. And personally, uh, I'm a pretty happy guy, I'd like to say, but there is times, you know, when things get hard, maybe you are just a little overwhelmed with how much school you have or plans for the future and you're not sure what you want to do. And you kind of just got to set, take a step back and kind of know like it's going to be okay. Knudsen says there are also great things he can take with him as he continues his education towards journalism. And yeah, I'm really excited to finally be able to get out and go do things that I'd like to do on my own. Senior Samantha Mueller has big plans ahead of her as well. Um, I'm actually attending Grand Canyon University in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm going to be an accounting major. <laughs> So um, I actually want to go into the FBI and become an FBI accountant. Mueller says the last two years in the global pandemic taught her a lot. So it's definitely crazy just to go back and like think about all of that, that we had to learn ourselves if we were in quarantine or if we had COVID. And just now it's we could miss a few days and you know how to teach yourself and you learned how to teach yourself. Teachers in the Rapid City School District have also gone through major challenges during the crazy school year, with school closures getting students caught up in class and not being able to see each other's faces. I will tell you, it has been a long year. It really has. It has been exhausting um, for everybody. But I think, you know, knowing that we've all worked together and we've all gone through it together has made it that much better. But teacher Jennifer Dame says she is looking forward to getting back to a five day school week and no mask requirement. If you've had freshmen and you get them back, it'll be like meeting new people all over again because you, you know, didn't get to see them the first time. Rapid City seniors will be graduating on May 30th. The ceremony will be held at the Rushmore Plaza Civic Center. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Sydney Thorson. And school for Rapid City students starts five days a week again next fall on August 24th.